Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue export system in parent side because last few videos I will show you about inside students, teacher, attendance and uh, like a fees collection. So in this video also we can short out like a parent side. So is the export system is it done. I don't think like other place we need. So but do you want to do your own way so you can do it because is a code ready code already there in other parts this reasons. And uh, I have one request, suppose you are new in this channel, otherwise in this series, so you can subscribe our channel and please press the bell icon so you, so you always get a new idea about the coding related and also you always get a new projects because this is the channel we are developing like only projects. So you can learn something new because without projects you can't create so you can't learn anything. Suppose simple you can create work, how to work HTML format like a form. So it's not good for you just you need to learn step by step so you just need to create always projects like a small project big projects whatever do you want to like you can create so 100% you can learn means develop some modules and you can learn something new I am 100% sure because I did my life like this this is an I explain like this okay so let's start now so first of all you need to go to parent list so resources views admin inside you can see it like a parents folder just go to list.blade.php and let me short out some zoom out so look like better so you can see it proper way just scroll down and you can need to add here button so let's we need to add a button so let's go to like other part like a student part we can go and we can copy and paste here and after we can replace so students list and we can go down so here is there our form so just copy this form and here you can paste after just leave it only one hidden file we don't need a other hidden file so just leave it one because after we can copy we need to work like export system has a search filter wise this reasons okay otherwise no any reasons suppose you can search and you need to export as a excel so you can do it easily so just back and refresh the page so you can see it export excel because i have copy paste code this reason you can see it here now we need to change like admin student student to win to change like a parent okay and after we need to add all the hidden fields so just click on the search button and here you can see it inside url so just copy this all line and you can put it here and just copy paste everything one by one and after you need to change one by one name already there so we don't want to do name last name emails to emails gender occupations address mobile applications sorry mobile number not mobile applications and status and date and date here okay so it is done now just leave it every space now and just save these files and go back and we can check is working very well not working very well just a rephrase so it's working very well let's search here like a name like samsung and i just click on the search button after i click on the export inside here is no any samsung related data this reason here not showing but you can see it here we didn't feel inside you can find out the samsung so it's working very well no issue now let's create now routes and we can export the data so just you can search like uh, admin parents so routes web.php and here you need to create like admin list admin ads you can see it all thing about like uh, admin parents so just we need to create a new route so just you can copy like student one above and paste here after you can change here like a uh, parents here now also you can change like a uh, controller student control to parent controller just you need to go to inside uh, like parent controllers so open the app HTTP controller inside you can see it like a parent controller you can see it here and here we can create a new routes for the parent controller like function export excel and request so what do you mean to use so we can use it these reasons okay request dollar request you can see it here let's go to now student controller and we can copy for his code so just simple just copy this all line and paste here here is the excel so this excel we have created means that this is like a plugin plugin we have installed already inside composer.json i can show you you can see it here like uh, yes met website slash 
Excel and 3.1 up version we have installed and we have created for this alias like Excel. So just I can go to inside a comping inside app.php and you can see it here Excel. We have declared create X alias and also do you want to use directly like this? So just you can go back again and you don't want to create an alias. So you need to use directly like this. But I like it. You can create an alias so we can use like a shortcut way. So just I will create an alias. You can see it. And after is I put this is the plugin inside provider. So we know okay, this is the plugin I need to use inside a Laravels. Okay, let's close this file. I hope you can understand what I say. And just save. Now we need to create a new file like a export. Here's the download method there inside new and here like a student. So we need to change to parents because we need to do with the parents data. So simple parents and we need to provide our date so we know. And whatever extension do you want to like so you can do it here. Okay, so let's use Excel here. And same thing we need to do like uh, export students. So we need to change like export parent. And let's create for this file. So first of all, you need to create this file. You need to open your terminal. So just go to your project and you can open your terminal. This is the my project here there inside Axioms. And I just go to GitHub because I'm using terminal as a GitHub. Let's make some zoom out so you can easily understand command. Okay. I can type here PSP artisan make export. What is the name? Export parents. So just you can type this name after you can press the enter. So taking few seconds after is a creating here. You can see it here. Right now we have done export attendance, collection, collector piece, student and parents. Sorry, student and teachers. Now we're doing the parents. So you can see it's a creating successfully. No issue. Okay. Let's close this one. We don't need any more in this video. So I just close it. Okay. Close. Now we need to declare for this above, like here, same like we have declared like a model. So same thing we can declare here. And just model to win to short out like a exports. Because this is the folder there inside export means this file we have did inside a export so you can see it export suppose the model inside there so we can type here models okay so declaration done use a go to definition otherwise you need to go so just export app exports inside you can see it like export parents let's open any one so we can copy paste quickly let's go to student one and just copy like a uh, with mapping and with heading just copy paste and paste here because the form collection already there this region after you need to copy like uh, all the above like a uh, is a plugin like a uh, which function we need to use with mapping done with heading done and users because parents data there inside a uh, users tables because you are following this series so you know about that you can see it here like a uh, get parents I can show you inside users model you can see it like a uh, user tab is group 4 so is a uh, parents we can get now. also here is uh, all the validation means not validation means filtering okay and here you can get the data after i can show you how we can remove the pagination inside an export file i already explained last few video but i will explain here also okay so save these files save these files now go to export parents and here is the export students now we need to copy like all part here same like we did in last video same thing you can put it here okay just removing and paste here Okay, now just short out like a remove origination now after we can use here. How to use I can show you. And we need to change like a users. This is the user model I will declare here. You can see it here. So just you can put here like get students. So we have already done like a last video to like a get parents. So just paste here. I already show you this function. Let's show you again. So you can see it here. Like user type is equal to for in the user table. So you can get the data. You can see this is the all the validation okay and also i use a direct request i will not use like dollar requests direct i'm using because of the we need to make a filter inside excel in any place do you want to make a filter so you can do it easily this reason i'm always using like this request okay so this is the is good for you and good for me i can explain again again so you know about that so this is the save file now and now we need to change our title so whatever title there inside our listing so this is the our listing Let's close this file. We don't want to need. Just go down and you can copy all. Like I created it. You can copy and you can paste here. Okay, simply. And here you can change to ID. Just you can paste here. And you can change your ID. 
just find and you can make a replace so you double quote you can type and after click on the replace all and same thing you can copy find and you can make it double quote after comma so it's a done error you can see it very quick now whatever we don't want to need this is the we can remove same like profile pic we don't need to just remove here okay so this is the like heading is a done here let's make a proper way so look like button also remove the last comma okay here is the heading done you can see it now mapping mapping how we can get suppose you whatever information you are getting here so this is the value inside you get is a data okay so just go back again and first of all we do id so we already put here id you can see it here let's remove the last part let's remove all not remove all because uh, some part i think is uh, usable like uh, this is the date of birth let's make a one by one so it look like better so first of all is a name and last name so is a parent's name so we can change here variable name student name to parent name so we can leave it like only parent name so remove the student name here okay i just remove now now is a, what is the next column like a email so is a email gender mobile number and occupation and address so email after is there gender so just copy and paste here next one is there mobile number so mobile number after we need to do occupations so just you can change to occupations next one is the address we can change here address next one is the status so rest of we don't want to read so just remove okay and status we already done like a zero and active you can see it same like so this is the already code there so date of birth and admission date we don't need so just removing now and last one is the remaining like a created date here so we can <coughs> sorry about that so we can leave it right now you can see it created at so it's same as we have leave it okay so it's done now let's try now working not working i am sure 100 percent work suppose error generated so we can short out this error okay so refresh the page let's make a reset button and click on the export excel so this is the i think we have not saved this web.php file this reason just save these files and just go back again and you can click on the export excel again so just taking few seconds because of the error there so it's not the error otherwise the print parent is a export you can see it let's open these files so you can see it's working very well i can show you you see name email gender mobile number occupation address status and credit this is the all is testing data suppose you are using the real data in your project so real data is working very well you know me know so this is the not issue it is done very well okay let's remove the pagination suppose here is a pagination there i can show you let's go down inside get parents inside users models just go down i can put here like a two okay right now you are there three records i just refresh the page so here two but i export so is we need to find out three records because we have total record three we don't want to read a two records so how we can do it is a very easy way i can show you okay don't worry about that but you can see it inside excel sheet so just close this one and you need to go to like a like a export as a export parents just uncomment remove pagination and you can put it here okay after you need to go to like a user controller and you can need to pass here suppose you are get here one because we have passed here like a one you can see it suppose you are get a one so is the meaning about we need to remove the pagination suppose you are getting the zero so we don't want to remove the pagination it is a simple condition just go down here and we can make here condition okay this is the pagination if is not empty I can remove pagination because here is a one, two, three, four, whatever finding, any value finding, so I need to go. Suppose zero or three blank founds, we don't want to go inside. Here is a pagination work, and here we don't want to work a pagination. So just you can use here get method and remove the like this. Okay. Okay, because I have made a wrong place like a collect fees. This reasons. Okay, so let's short out the control jet because I have made a wrong place. Uh, let's make control jets we need to provide inside a parents so sorry about that just copy paste again 
here I have passed another parameters just go down and here you can make it like a condition if is not empty remove pagination so here is the one found so going to inside otherwise need to go to else part and just copy paste here and here you can conquer for the returns and also you need to pass here like a get and you can remove the 20 okay and just save these files now you can see it everything is good let's go back again refresh the page so we can see it now without pagination we can get the export data cannot export data suppose i can make here again like a two pagination and we can go back again refresh the page so you can see it here is a pagination there but once i will click on the export so you can see it export data but here you can find out like a three data you can see now your pagination is removed okay so working very well no issue let's make a filtering suppose i can search only parents one email test.com search and after i need to export only one data so just you can make an export excel and you can see it also this one work very well no issue now okay so is everything is working very well let's leave it like a 20 otherwise let's leave it like a 40 whatever do you want to like you can make it here so it's good for you and good for me not good is whatever you can think it's good because data is showing the bigger because this is the like a small condition like a small query it's not like a big query you can need to make like lots of joint queries so it's going to your page slow so don't worry don't worry about that it's working very well okay and uh, i hope you can like this video so like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and press bell the icon once i will upload the any video so you can get a first not notification this is the reason is a bell icon is good for you okay and I hope do you want to enjoy and do you want to like so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.